Welcome back, folks. So today we're looking at the uh, Kinetbacks Cobras. This, these are extremely popular, and they recently came out with um, their tiny version, uh, the Kinetbacks Cobra XS, and I'm going to explain to you guys why I returned mine and exchanged it for these. Stick around. All right, so what we got here on the table is uh, the five inch um, Kinefex Cobras. Uh, we'll do a little bit of an unboxing here. So let's get this open. These damn blister packs are crazy. Fuck, this is nuts. All right. So, we got them out. The 5-inch Knipex Cobras. Now, I have, I wear a size large glove, but, I mean, my hands aren't on, like, the extremely large size um, the head of these and the Cobra XS are extremely small. I mean, it's, they're smaller than my thumb. Let's put my index finger. So just to kind of compare it to my thumb, you can see, um, they're tiny. And the reason why I returned, sent back the XS is, well, before we get into that, just, uh, Thoughts and positive things. They're made with the same quality, the same attention to detail. Um, they they're strong, durable. As far as their their uh, build and construction, there's not many bad things that I can say about them. The problem that I have with the XS is in their utility. To be honest with you guys, there wasn't a use for those where they were better than the seven inches or the, uh, the 180 millimeter. Um, yes, they're tiny and yes, they can fit in your pocket, but you can't get a very good purchase on them. You can't get a very good grip on them. Um, they, they do have a decent jaw capacity but with the hundred, the 125, I felt like these would give you just that extra little bit of uh, leverage that you need because I'm telling you, there's very few things that you can do with those. I, I think they're a gimmick, to be honest with you. These, I mean, if you're wanting a pair of pliers to put in your pocket and just walk around with every day, I mean... I, I work in construction. Um, I don't walk around with a pair of pliers in my pocket every day. I do carry a pocket knife. But if you really want to carry a set of pliers, these 5-inch models, which in my opinion are the bottom end of the usable size for pliers, these these can fit in your pocket just fine. They're smaller than even the Milwaukee Fastback. And if you have a Milwaukee Fastback, or I mean, they're just a small, little, tiny bit bigger. Um, so they're not very big at all. Um, let me get a ruler here. Yeah, I mean, they just a tiny bit, maybe five and a quarter inches. These fit in your pocket just fine. Um, my favorite Cobras, to be honest with you, is these. Um, I do use these when I need them, but and these are the uh, 250, uh, the, the 10 inch model. These are probably my go-tos, these right here. And if I really wanted to, I could carry these in my pocket. Now they're a little big to be carrying in a pocket, 
but these right here, I just think are, there comes a point in time when a tool becomes too small to be functional. And I'm not on Kinepex's payroll. I love their tools. Uh, I use their tools. I have purchased a ton of their tools, but I'm not in Kinepex's pocket. And in my opinion, the, the little tiny uh, four inch models, the XS, they're too small to be useful. I mean, even for like electronics, they're still too small to even be useful. Now, this is my opinion. Um, you know, take my opinion for what it's worth. You don't, you know, of course, obviously have to agree. Uh, if you own a pair of the XS and you're able to find a use for them, more power to you. Um, I'm happy for you. For me personally, to me, they just seem like a gimmick. Um, not really more of a tool for show than a tool to perform. And I like my tools to be able to perform. Um, and with that, uh, that's my thought on the Knipex SS or XS. I would uh, love to know what your all's opinion is. Leave it down in the comment. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. Leave it down in the comment. Um, and until next time, I appreciate you all watching. Um, if I can get a like and a subscribe or even a thumbs down, that's okay with me. Uh, give me a like if you agree. Give me a thumbs down if you disagree. How about that? And leave me, and if you do disagree, leave a comment and let me know why you disagree. And if you agree, um, leave me a comment letting me know, hey, I agree and this is why. But um, until next time, y'all have a good one.